Right, what is going on guys and welcome back to Simple Rockets 2 and today is something a bit different. So I've been working on my Starship model which is now, this is NS, NS, SN15, the one that actually stuck the landing. So I've redesigned it a little bit. Let's go back and I'll show you what things I've changed. So if I go back to the last craft that I actually flew on the channel not 20 because 20 was kind of a just a thing sn11 here so sn11 this is what it looked like there was no texture on the wings the flaps sorry not wings flaps these were kind of very green silo texture the three raptors there Nothing has changed on the engine design. If I go back to 15 here, there we go. You can see it looks a little bit more like the actual model now. So this is going to be available on the website as well. Link should be down in the description when this video is released. I also have some heat shields here. They're just structural panels. I was going to do individual ones, but I thought it would really start lagging. So I did that and then I've obviously I've put that texture on, which makes it look like the panels when you... Actually, should I put the detail up a little bit on that colour? If I... If I just grab one here. If I put... Ah, uh, detail's already up full, so that's fine. So yeah, this is the model. And also, it comes with the code that I've got. If we take a look at this. So all it's going to do is wait a little bit. Set the throttle to half, pitch over the right degrees to get to the next landing pad, um, turn lock in the head, and it goes to about 7,000 apple apps, and then it cuts one engine, cuts the second engine, cuts the third engine, wait before it pitches over. The flaps aren't doing any aerodynamicness, it's just I've been tweaking um obviously how much the, the craft leans on free fall i've just been tweaking the sliders pretty much and then obviously once it gets below a certain height it kicks on the engines changes the pitch vertical uh sets throttle to 80 percent because i realized 100 percent after testing was a bit too much make sure them engines are true and on wait eight seconds before it shuts down one of the active engines just you know try and keep it real and then it's got a landing code here which is um this isn't my landing code it is far too complex for me i can't remember who made it but i think if you just type in on the simple rockets website auto landing it comes up there you go so there we go so all we have to do is press play here and it should land on the pad i've been Obviously, because I've changed the weight of the craft and everything, I've been changing the pitch angle to try and get it to land on the pad. Because the last video, obviously, I just exploded SN11. I mean, I can show you the code for SN11. Oh, there we go. It's a bit laggy because I've got things lying around. This is some cameras from previous missions that I just place around. Obviously, it's got a fin cam there. It's got an engine cam and it's got a static camera here for all the cinematic purposes. So as you can see, it pitches over a little bit. We'll get this um, tab open here so you can see it is pitching slightly over. That's just so it can head towards these landing pads and land on one of them. You can see we've still got a starship over there. I think that's, um, I think that's SN10 that's on the pad over there. When you get a big monster Korean over to bring that thing back, don't we? I'll turn the volume down a little bit, just in case it's a bit loud. But yeah, the heat shield makes this look so much better now. And obviously the textures and the textures on the fins. I wish you could make the fins, the fins thicker. That would be a cool feature that would be added to Simple Rockets 2. So obviously I'm not touching anything here. Um... It's, it's the fuel is weighted as well so i've cut down the fuel to save our weight to get this to fly perfect you see we've cut down one of the second engine a bit too early but uh 
that's just how I got it to work. And if it works, that's it. That's all you need, really. Wow, is that the moon where you can see the shadows? I've never noticed that in atmosphere before. That must be new. So there we go. We're flipping over anyway. So it it I had to slow down the speed of the fins because otherwise the air pressure of them folding would just flip the thing the wrong way. I don't know why. Simple rockets too physics. So yeah, I dip them in quite a bit just to get it level. As you can see, it's now level, and then they fold out a little bit more just to bring that back end up. So it's pretty much horizontal here. But we do want it to slightly go backwards. It, as you will see, we're, we're quite far over the runway at the minute. But aerodynamics will bring us backwards a little bit. And we could probably change the heading just a slight touch. Just to get over the landing pad a little bit more. But yeah, once it gets over under 1200 um meters then it will kick in the engines there we are and we're going to slightly miss the pad <laughs> and cut off one of the three there we go we've got the two main side engines and here it'll go down for a nice soft landing so yeah obviously you guys can improve the code to make this a lot better um it's just a basic code it's it's nothing fancy look at the difference between this model and that model it's incredible there we go look at that safely on the ground in one piece what a smooth touchdown that landing code is brilliant absolutely brilliant so yeah that looks all right the way it is there so what we'll do we'll just leave that there Proud SN15 sat at the side of the launch pad. We'll just pretend it's been moved away from the launch pad for now. And we'll go into this. Right, so I do want to show you um quickly SN11. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? SN11 to get it to explode. All that I did was, before the landing sequence, it literally relights all three engines, waits three seconds, and then mid-tank explosion equals one. That's the only way to make it explode pretty cool, in a cool fashion. So that's how I did that. This is quite a behind-the-scenes episode, isn't it? So if we go to SN15 here, and we go to the program, if we change the heading to... 53 we change the pitch to 55.9 let's see how much that actually affects the landing point that's why i've left that one out there just so you can see how little changes like this can really affect where this thing lands so let's do that and by the way, if you haven't subscribed, please do and leave a like. It's really appreciated. Excuse the laggers. We'll load in all the crap that I've got lying around. Yeah, so if you haven't already, please do leave a like and subscribe. It really helps us out. We have... Uh, we aren't doing as many uploads at the minute just because... I really just want some better quality content out there for you guys but and it's getting the time to do it but never mind but i have got a printed model of the starship and i did want to i did want to paint it i thought it'd be really cool to do as a stream painting the thing in real life um if you guys are interested in that stream then let me know and i'll give it a go i mean already i'm seeing what our headings totally changed now our headings over there i don't think the heading actually gets affected until later on i can't remember we'll see we'll see what happens 
There we go, we're down to one engine now. And we'll have a look at some of these. There's the fin camera, the engine camera, and the static camera. The static camera, once you get up towards 10 kilometers, you do kind of lose signal and it just disappears, goes back to standard camera. As you can see, it's kind of short of 10 kilometers, but sea level, it's, it's yeah, you know, it's, it's close enough. But it was 10 kilometers until I put on these panels and added extra weight to everything. Obviously, change the way the thing fl flies now. Let's see how much difference the landing spot is going to be. Just them subtle changes. See if they actually affect anything. I don't know if decimal points actually affect the, f the busy code. But we'll see. I'm I'm hoping that it's gonna land dot on the pad right now. I mean that's looking promising. It might kill SN ten. <laughs> it might kill it. But look at that, look how far over we are. Just by adding that one degree on the heading. Oh we are a lot closer to home now. Okay, that's interesting. So we've got a difference of that. Look at the difference of that. That is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> land right on the road there. Look at that. That's a pretty cool landing spot, actually. I'm pleased with that one. I think if we went a bit further, we could have landed on that pad. Last time I did 86, though, it was... It was too far. So, I don't know. Let's find out. So what we'll do guys, I'll just um, skip ahead and we'll see where this thing lands. Right, here we are coming up on the landing. Let's see what is different this time around. So last time we landed on the middle of this road. Hopefully this time... We're going to land a little bit closer to the pad. And I guess not. gonna land on the grass right well that's confusing but anyway, guys, like I say, you can check out this code, mess with it yourself, and, um, you know, fix it if you want. Do feel free to send us these stuff as well. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. I appreciate you stopping by, and hope to see you soon.